So in this problem, we're asked to find the horizontal and vertical asymptotes of the curve. And we're given the function y equals f times x plus 1 over x minus 1. So let's start by finding the vertical asymptote. And in order to find that, what we want to do is take our denominator, then set it equal to 0. So if we go ahead and do that, we have x minus 1 is equal to 0. And then if we want to solve for x, we should add 1 to both sides. And then we know that x equals 1. And so this is going to be our vertical asymptote. And so that's just the rule that you want to use to find it. But the horizontal asymptote is a bit more tricky. So in order to find that, what you want to do is look at the highest degrees of the top and bottom. So in this case, we only have 1x. Uh, and then on the bottom, we also have 1x. But the degrees of them are just 1 and 1 because x is just x to the 1. And so when they're the same number, so this is x to the 1 and the bottom is x to the 1, you just want to look at the numbers out front. And then you just want to divide them, basically. So this is a 1 here. So we just do 5 divided by 1 equals 5. So in this case, our um, horizontal asymptote is 5. But let's say we get a different case where, let's say the top degree is bigger. So in this case, like, let's say it was like this. 5 times x squared over 1 over x. So if the top degree is bigger, so in this case it's 2 and this one's 1, and we look at the highest degree of it. So just look at the highest degree. And since this one is bigger, then that means um, it doesn't exist. So there's no... Um, horizontal asymptote for this case if the top degree is bigger. But let's say in a different case we're given where the bottom was bigger. So like let's say we have 5x over x squared. So if the degree of the bottom one is bigger, that means it equals 0. The horizontal asymptote is equal to 0. So those are just some rules that you need to know. But in this case, it's pretty easy because they're the same degree. And if they're the same degree, we just divide the two numbers. So the answer to this is x equals 1 and y equals 5.